Hi guys, it is the Stargardt's Fitness Challenger here and I am legally blind due to Stargardt's eye disease. In this video, I'm going to tell you some good tips on how to survive and live life with Stargardt's eye disease. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all about Stargardt's eye disease, which I suffer from. If you haven't already, please go down below and subscribe and hit the bell button to get the latest videos. If you're watching this video, you may have Stargardt's eye disease or you may have a relative that suffers from Stargardt's eye disease and you want to know a little bit more about it and the best techniques of what you can do or what they can do to make their life a little bit easier. So very briefly, what I see. What I see is if I look directly at the camera like I am now, I'm not seeing a whole lot apart from a blur. So the blur is my brain taking all the colours of the room which is behind the camera and it's merging it all together. So I can't actually see the camera, I'm just seeing a blur. If I want to see the camera properly I have to look above to see because the blur is so large. Uh, if I look directly out I can't see. So the blur started off very very small, very very small blob to begin with. I thought it was kind of cool, it was like I was looking around I could see this blob going around everywhere, I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, but it wasn't. I got diagnosed as either a macular hole or it was a, or Stargardt's eye disease and it turned out to be Stargardt's eye disease. The blob now, from starting from very small, started to form and turn into a, a kind of a ball, kind of a donut with a little pinhole, like a donut, ring donut, little pinhole in the centre. But that pinhole got very, very, very small and is now totally gone. It is in the left eye and the right eye is the same. It is now basically a jam donut, big blob, sparkly, twinkliness, and that is Stargardt's. It's not the generic people think Stargardt's eye disease, your vision is a black blur. Your central vision is dead, so it must be a black blur. It's not a black blur. It's everything around the room, whatever room you're in, the colours are merging. So for instance, if I was to look at a, a a uh, clock on a wall, there would be no clock, it would just be the colour of the wall. Uh, it's kind of like a magic trick but I'm the only one who can see the magic trick. So a question I get quite a lot is, why don't you just wear glasses? Glasses help? No, they don't. The answer is, they don't help with Stargardt's eye disease. Stargardt's eye disease, your central vision is dead. Okay, you're, If you're at the very start of the process of Stargardt's, it's going to get worse and the blob is always going to be there. So glasses don't help, but they do help with the peripheral vision, which is around your vision. So you've got the blob, so that's the blob. You've got all this vision around, that is your peripheral. So glasses will help with that, yes. Moving on from glasses, you must get, if you are a Stargardt's eye disease sufferer, some of these shades. Well, not these shades. A, sh a pair of shades of this colour because this colour eliminates all glare from the sun no matter what the weather you want a kind of a burn orange kind of colour uh, these are bought from uh, Boots uh, you can get them from anywhere, go online places like that and find them but get some burn orange coloured lenses it will reduce the glare and it will make your life a lot easier the next thing on the list from uh, the glasses and the shades would be be an expert at peripheral vision. People don't even know I have Stargardt's eye disease. They're stunned when I tell them that I can't see their faces because I can flick my eyes and get their eyeball into my peripheral and then I can just pretend by looking at them that I know where their eye is, but I don't. I can't see their faces. I just know where their eye is because I flick. Yeah. So that goes into becoming a pro, a pro, a peripheral vision user. So if it's watching TV, for example, you've got the TV in front of you, you have to look above it, you have to look above into the ceiling, more or less, to see the image below. So once again, like the camera, I have to look about there to actually see the camera which is there. So I'm looking there, but I'm also looking forward. And this will really help with sufferers and getting your mindset into using your peripheral. So some people come up to me at the side and I know they're there before they even know I've noticed them because I, I always look with my peripheral. Like walking along the road, I'm looking down 
always looking down like this, but I'm actually looking forward. So it takes people a long time to get used to the idea of using your peripheral vision like that. People think I must be depressed or something because I don't make eye contact with people because I always have to look down or when I'm talking to people, it's above and then I flick. So it's a flick up and then I flick down, probably because I don't want to feel uncomfortable talking to people, but that's how I kind of cope and that's what, that's what I do. The next thing, I don't actually have it on me now, but you can get a disability card from hiddendisabilities.co.uk and they will, you have to buy it obviously, but you, they will be sending you a I am, a, I am visually impaired card and I own one of those too. Uh, it just makes people a little bit aware so you don't get stupid questions like, can you read this very small print for me? You can just be like, I've got an eye condition, I can't read it. Making people aware will uh, make you feel better and less like you have to pretend to be something you're not. Then we have the cane, obviously. Uh, I don't know what I keep saying obviously for, but this is the cane. This is used for uh, curbs and things like that. And if more, it's more of a visual aid for other people to know that you have got an eye condition. So keep out of the way, otherwise they'll hit you. So another bit of advice is to go to your local support, uh, your local council, go to the RNIB if you feel like you need to talk to somebody because they can give you advice on uh, how to live, bits of equipment that would make your life a little bit easier, magnifiers, things like that, and put you in kind of the right direction. With suffering with Stargardt side disease, I suggest you look into uh, local uh, benefits, council tax, rail discounts and free bus pass if you need to get to the shops and things like that. That's a really good thing to have, it is free. You get discounts on other things as well. Have a look into local benefits and do some research with the uh, gov.co.uk as well because that you can get some things from that as well. If you go to work etc and things like that, you there is a part of the DWP which is the working department of working pensions uh, it's called access to work and they will be able to get you to work via taxis and things like that you may have to pay a contrib contribution to the taxis but look into access to work if you are able to go to work in this covid situation moving on to the phones everyone's got a phone uh, and these are amazing they've got some really good applications in these uh, i use a one in particular called Supervision, uh, you hold your phone above some paperwork and it will scan your paper and it will read aloud what it is seeing. So you don't actually have to read it physically yourself because sometimes it will strain your eyes reading an A4 sheet of paper. So get some apps on your phone. Also, if you go into your applications, into your, well, your phone settings and you scroll down, you'll be able to find the part of that which you'll be able to increase the font so you I've got it on maximum for my font and also there is a magnifier in there which you double tap three times on the screen and you can zoom in to whatever you want on your phone so look into making your phone a part of daily use and making it a part of you if you can't see properly make sure your phone has the ability to see for you and finally one of the most important things that anybody with Stargardt's eye disease or any other sort of eye disease or blindness can do is find something you love to do and also talk to people. So find something you love and talk to people if you feel confident and that you want to do that. You don't have to, but you can do that. For me, for example, it is doing YouTube videos. I love to do it. I love to get my voice out into the world and hopefully people will take some of my advice on board. But that is one of the things I love to do. And also, of course, fitness, Stargardt's Fitness Challenger. Go look at all my other videos. <laughs> uh, but seriously, you have to find something you love. It could be absolutely anything. Focus your mind on something and it will take it away from what you are seeing every single day. And it also makes you feel really good for doing something that you love doing. Can't stress that enough. Do something you love. Just before I end the video, I'm going to say if you don't know already, the Stargardt's eye disease, you close your eyes and you will still see it. It doesn't go away, it never goes away. The only time you don't see it is when you're unconscious and you're asleep in bed. 
So for people that have Stargardt's eye disease, you people are doing amazingly. You need to keep strong and keep going for it because I know how depressing it is when you go to more fields or something like that and you get told the bad news. You have to keep a positive spin on things. It's really hard and I totally understand everything that you're going through because I live it. You have to, if you want, go down below, subscribe, hit the bell button for more videos. Leave a comment as well because I'd like to know if you have Stargardt's eye disease or someone you love has Stargardt's eye disease and I'm here to help. Ask me a question. Many people have about gym equipment and I've done videos based on what they've asked me to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it, whatever way it goes around. Please like the video, subscribe, share it, do all that good stuff. Check out some of the other videos that I'm going to pop up and until next time, don't lose your sight on your fitness goals or your goals.